Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. I think today's mission, what we're gonna do, is uh, to place the timing belt in the compensator here. Should be a nice, wonderful job. Let's uh, grab some tools and get at her. All right, so the first thing we wanna do here is find the mount, the top dead center mark on this front pulley here and it lines up with this little tick on the block here so we can let's see if we can bump the starter get her kind of close all right should be able to move the belt and get her the rest of the way already took the bolt out of the front of it and then we gotta take this uh, water pump pulley off. Get back at you in a bit. All right, now that we got the pulleys off, have to go in here and get after the bolts on this cover. It should slide off and it'll show us the timing belt. Put it on top dead center on the compression stroke and uh, now we're about to pull this off. All right, we got the cover off. And inside here, you can see that there's a tensioner here that uses kind of like a Torx bit for tension and that kind of ellipse looking piece there. And I don't know if you can see it, but there are some timing marks on that one that have appeared to slip. It's a non-interference engine, so imagine it's just out of time a little bit. We'll uh, put a new belt on here and a couple other things to do but I'll be right back that's kind of like the tensioner and then you get one of these torques in here and that kind of helps move set the tension on it and if you look over here I don't know if the camera see it there's a little teeny wee dot here and that's where it has to get lined up to and it's I don't know I'd say about a, maybe a tooth or so off Get it in place and then I can put a new belt on and re reassemble. All right, we got a belt on, uh, ready to put the tensioner back in and show you how I give her some tension. All right, so what you do is you put that Torx in there and you just give her enough that it stays in the very bottom of the position here. If it worked, just kind of hold it right there. And then get another ratchet and tighten her down. See, it's based off a motorcycle engine. It's a three-cylinder. You'd think it'd be easy to work on, but it's kind of like uh, Medusa and Satan had a baby. Um, on this choke, or on this carb here, there's three different methods to actuate the choke. We got our carb here. Um, inside here, it runs antifreeze into it. It's got a wax pellet that, it, uh, depending on the temperature of the antifreeze running through here, it's either solid or liquefied, which pushes on a diaphragm to uh, completely close the carb, which helps with cold starting. And on the top here, it has vacuum actuated uh, um, parts for, or yeah, in here. It's got a vacuum actuated uh, mechanism for closing the choke halfway. And then inside here, it's kind of got like a spring, kind of like your old school chokes on your quadra jets or your Holly that, uh, depending on ambient temperature outside, is uh, how much it opens and closes. It's got, uh, this is got idle air right here and stuff. It's got some adjustments on the side. It's just a very, very odd setup. You can think you know the basic theory on engines, but this thing just stumps you at every chance it gets. Um, but yeah, she's a pretty cool little rig. I think they run around 7,500 bucks. That's what I got into it, safety and stuff. Uh, it's a pretty good little ATV. It's got diff locks and 
whole bunch of goodies in it in order to safety and if anybody's wondering i had to wire in daytime running lights uh, other than that she was pretty pretty simple to get safety in manitoba down here i, I wired in intermittent white intermittent wipers uh, just to add like the old two speed either slow or just give her Got winch controls in here too as well as a little this is for a choke it's got different stuff like diff locks and all the stuff in it there it's some pioneer speakers in it it's a pretty cool little truck like all the writing and the headliner and stuff or the visors is in chinese good luck trying to figure out anything right but uh yeah pretty cool little rig used to drive it to work on a daily basis it does about 140 it's a thousand cc rig it's got a little five speed in it she hums along pretty good you got different stuff like your that's the reservoir for your brake master cylinder and stuff the one for the clutch is underneath but, um, pretty cool little truck not much room yeah I also did a uh, lift in it which is a little bit of a block and then there's a kind of like an expanded shackle in the back for runs leafs so I also have some quad tires and stuff for it. Uh, my original plan was to put it on tracks, but there's stuff like how I can run around town with it. It's a pretty, pretty cool little rig. Figured I'd end the video with this. Uh, this is my Suzuki street bike that I made a ro or quad that I made a street bike into. Over here is the off-roader cycle, the old hockey bag seat, and. If you can't tell i used to trade atvs and this is just like when you trade an atv you get like a arm full of parts with it that's about seven or eight different things made into one and we got this here it's actually a pantera 250 dirt bike that had no back rim so it's got an elongated swing arm rain barrel rear fenders and you can just tell the plastics are all like cut up and mismatched off everything and all right guys just a short little video here be sure to uh like subscribe and comment if you want and uh see if i can keep doing some more videos for you take your easy guys stay safe and stay home